Hey everyone, I just want to tell you all about my Slim Packing Cubes by Dot and Dot. I just want to show you all how I use mine. I have a set of four, and in this one I actually, I wear a scarf pretty much every day. I don't wear it at home when I'm just with the children, but when we go out somewhere, whether it's just shopping or to church or to a restaurant, I wear a scarf. And all of most of my scarves are vintage. I I like to go to different estate sales and different antique places and I have a really large collection of scarves and they're not expensive, they're not valuable or anything. Um they just I just find that I like vintage scarves and they they add a little nice color to my outfit. I also do have a lot of different wooden teething necklaces. So I use those as, as my little pretty accent whenever I'm going somewhere and my little baby is teething, I usually wear one of these. But this is the Slim Packing Cube and the dimensions of this, um, each one is 14 inches by 5 inches by 2.75. And for me, this is perfect for keeping all of my scarves nice and tidy and not getting any um, excess wrinkles or creases or snags or any type of uh, any kind of dirt or anything in case I'm packing my shoes with with my my items I put all my scarves in here so for me this works great because it does have a really nice handle and it keeps them from getting all wrinkled and keeps them tidy. The The size of it is really nice. As you can see, it is kind of cube-shaped, as the name implies. I wanted to show you all the exact color shade of this one. This one is the pink. I purposely did this video without flash because I wanted to show you all the best true-to-life color of this actual bag. On Amazon it's showing up more of a I would say hot pink fuchsia shade. It's absolutely different than that and I think it's actually prettier in person than it is on the website. It is I would say a peachy coral pink so it, it does have kind of a peachy orange tone to it. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely was a nice surprise when I saw these. It has a really nice textured pattern. It is a honeycomb pattern, which again, I love because I just happen to love bees and I have a vintage brooch that that it, it it's, has just a, a honeycomb on it. It's, it's really simple, but yet it's really pretty. So that's something I really like. The zippers on this are really nice. It has two zippers with a nice ergonomic type I guess it was it'd be a thumb thumb rest, I guess. <laughs> and it has dot dot on them. So a nice little touch there. I like how it has double zippers. It seems to be more sturdy. It doesn't put a lot of stress on the zipper. The handles are really nice. I I also since I have a set of four of these, one of them I use for my scarves and the other I can put and I don't have it in here right now, but I can put uh, various hair tools like flat iron, curling iron, different hair brushes. So that's nice. So I use one for that. And this is what it looks like empty. Very sturdy and nice. And you could probably just spot clean it with, with a Clorox wipe. And it does say... Um, hang to dry, it says wash separately, hand wash in cold water. It is made in China, which is something I would prefer it not to be, but that's only just because I like, I like things that are USA made locally, um, just to support USA products. It has absolutely no, um, uneven stitching, um, I, I am not worried at all about this having any issues of splitting or 
or coming apart. It's very, very durable. So if you're an overpacker like me, I don't think you'll have any issues with, with the seams or edges splitting. It's very, very well made, durable. And I actually do have the Ebags brand. And I actually do think that this the quality of the dot and dot um, does exceed the quality of the e-bags. Now I do like the e-bags ones, but I do find that I do like the dot dot better because the seams seem to be a lot more sturdy and the texture, the, the feel of the material just seems a lot more sturdy. Um, both of them have handles, about the same quality of handles. Not bad, not not uh, not remarkable, just nice handles. Works great. This does have a gray edging. Most of the dot dot ones have the gray, I believe. If it's not gray on the others, it might be black. The mesh is nice. This is kind of nice for airing something out so it doesn't get all musty. Um, I don't really know of anything that I would put in there that would potentially get uh, musty or need to be aired out, but that's it's still nice. Um, like I said, the first one I usually do for scarves. Second one I usually do for hair tools, and um, I might even put a small little bag with with some hair brettes or hair bows for my daughter. Maybe some hair ties for me. And a third one I would put little bags of um, just my little cosmetic bags actually in here and they pack up really well. And the fourth one I kind of use as kind of my excess item bag, I guess. Um, lots of times it might not be, um, it, it might be lotion or it might be shampoos or it might be uh, hairspray bottles, just whatever little excess things that I find that I need for my trip and I always put those items in their own little bag and then in this as well just because I like to protect my my bags not that it would leak but it could and I just want to protect that these are great you can get, get them on Amazon you can get them in a one pack or a four piece I prefer the four piece just because um, I find that this actual size is very useful to me and you can actually probably put uh, if you have a, a small child, you can actually put their their onesies if they're a little baby. That would fit in here, rolled up, or little socks. Socks are something that are always getting lost in our household, and definitely when we're traveling, socks can get lost. So, Overall, I really love this set. It's really durable. The company is great. They do offer 100% satisfaction. I 